Hey guys, please excuse me looking really crazy. I finally got around to washing my hair. So I did a deep conditioning treatment and I want to show you guys what I found. Uh, this is Garnier Fructis Damage Repair. Deep Repair Hair One Minute Mask. I found this at my local dollar store, Dollarama, and it was $2. If you're in Toronto or Canada, definitely hit up your Dollarama. I really liked it. It has really good slip. As soon as it, I put it in, it melted the tangles away. And it says you only have to leave it in for one minute, but I put a plastic cap on and left it in for half an hour and rinsed it out. And my hair felt really smooth and easy to comb through. So I was happy with that purchase. Actually, just blow dried my hair on a warm setting lightly it's still kind of damp so I didn't really do it that thoroughly because I think I just want to take off a little bit of length I already have a trimming video so it's not that it's anything new but I just thought I would come on and share it with you guys I always think it's funny when somebody especially if it's somebody who makes videos often and um, they come on and they do a length check and they pull their hair down and then they say oh it's only to my lip but that's because I cut off six inches last week I just didn't make a video about it I always think that's funny like why wouldn't you make a video you make a video about everything else but I'm not talking about anybody in particular guys it's just I'm just saying I thought if I'm gonna cut my hair cut some of my hair off I might as well show you how much I'm cutting off just like the look of it when it was about Two inches ago or three inches ago so I'm gonna take a little bit off and another reason is because the middle of my hair which is the coarsest shrinks the most so the middle of my hair will shrink up like 90 percent while where the back will shrink up let's say 60 percent so it'll look like a more like I have a mullet so it's not a good look So because of that, I don't think I take, need to take off a lot on, in the middle. Um, the front of my hair grows pretty well and I don't mind the length on it because when I style my hair, usually I do something funky in the front. Um, but the back, I think I need to take the most length off. So I was thinking maybe three inches in the back, one inch in the top, and then two inches in the front. So hopefully that sort of gives it a better shape. Okay, so so far I've done the front. I took off about two inches in the front. The sides actually turned out not to be as bad as I thought. They didn't taper down as much as um, some other areas in my head, so I only took off an inch, about an inch on either side. Not as much as I initially planned. And um, I think I'll move on to the middle which the middle of my hair I'm not actually going to take off too much because that area shrinks up insane an insane amount and also it is shorter than the rest of my hair anyways so. Okay, so all we have left now is the back. I took, um, tried not to take too much off in the middle, about half an inch. So all we have left is the back, which is my longest area. I'm just gonna work in sections to the left side first. Hey guys, I'm finally done. 
I ended up sticking with my plan. Um, so I took off about one inch on either side, two inches in the front, about a half an inch to one inch in the middle, and then about two and a half to three inches in the back. And that's it, I'm done. So it's not really a tutorial, it's just more that I come and share with you guys. Um, I'll take some before and after pics and attach it to the end and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in the way my hair hangs and sits um, in future styling vids. So I guess that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. Peace out.